What's up, YouTube? It's Bus Saiyan here, coming at you with another deck profile. And now we're back at the realms of the Dragon Ball CCG collectible card game 2009 2008. And I have another deck profile for you guys. This has been a slow burning one. I've been thinking about this for quite a while, and I ended up combining two deck ideas that I had for a while. Basically, this is partly the Gohan Hill version 2.0 deck, and this is also partly the uh, uh, sort of Piccolo uh, hand control y type of deck. It's not full on hand control, I have a different idea for that deck, but uh, I am titling this as Gohan Hill 2.0, even though it's probably a weaker version in a way than the first one. Uh, which, by the way, if you haven't checked out, check out. I'm gonna be linking it somewhere. And uh, make sure that you bear with me to see what this deck can do. Alright. So to start with, we have uh, three Piccolo Juniors. And obviously, looking at the uh, zero drops, we also run three Old Kai. And two Zunama. Now all these guys will give us green Chi uh, if they are charged into the Chi. But obviously uh, Piccolo and Zunama, they are our main beaters. They are both uh, three combat value, zero support. Zunama keeps that if he goes injured, so he's still a 3-0. But of course, if he is uh, discarded, uh, removed from play, then you have to remove a Dragon Boy control from play. Old Kai helps us recycle. We have a combo for that. And Piccolo Jr. helps us to do this. He helps us to uh, evolution four, so when we hit our fourth turn for free, we can evolve into this guy. This guy here is who is going to wreak havoc. Um, this set five Piccolo basically would normally cost us uh, two Chi, and we would have to wait till turn six to drop this bad boy. And he's a seven three three three, so he's a pretty good attacker, and even if injured, he's a pretty good support. Uh, guy and with a Dragon Ball every time uh, his team wins a victory an outstanding victory your opponent has to discard a card at random from their hand uh, Yeah, no just discards a card. I, I don't know if that's random. Maybe they choose. I don't care It's basically minusing our opponent's hand which is big and the fact that we can do this in turn 4 for free And it doesn't even count as deployment. is just crazy good. It's really good uh, this is uh, our first little trick. The second one is for Old Kai, and I've shown you guys this uh, this trick before when I've profiled my Namekian deck. It's basically you can with Old Kai you can arm stretch every turn. Okay, what you just need to make sure is that you get two old, uh, arm stretches, and one needs to be in your discard. Uh, so when you you basically want to rotate three arm stretches you want to have one in your hand that you play and That goes to your chi and the one green you pay you want to pay with another arm stretch so that from your chi goes to your discard uh, So then basically your next turn you can take your old Kai in your strategy phase The first thing you do at the beginning of your turn is you put an arm stretch back into your deck so when you play the next arm stretch you again that goes into your chi the chi you pay with is an arm stretch goes into your discard beginning of your next turn you put it back with old guy because whenever you use an arm stretch with a uh, namekian expert namekian you get to search your deck for an arm stretch so that basically gives you an unlimited supply of arm stretches um an arm stretch again is probably one of the best counters in the game if you haven't seen my counter analysis then please do check it out because i talk about how powerful arm stretches and how versatile you can use this card and how bloody cheap it is as well for all the great things it does just him makes it worthwhile to run the machians in your deck but this combo is is absolutely brilliant and uh, i'm happily uh Happily take this deck at any point in time to make sure that I can get this rotation going Okay, anyway, let's move on. We'll come back to the uh, techniques and all that stuff in a little while uh, But this is basically our turn zero. Okay, so moving into turn one. We only run one Bora <sighs> Why do we only run one one cost card? Well, the fact is that we have eight zero costs 
So ideally what you want to start with is get one of your beaters down, either Piccolo Jr. or Azunamo, and then turn one, you either get an Olkite down or you get a Bora down. Bora is also in there because we are basically running a unique Earth build. And uh, Bora gives us that Chi. He's a good attacker. If injured, he's a very good support warrior. And he also has a really good ability when this warrior uh, is moved to your chi area due to uh, any, dam any damage. And that's important because it could be a technique that kills it, an event, or during battle. Um, you may place a growth coin on target warrior you control with an earth symbol. Uh, so you might see why this is uh, going to be important. And this is our first card that foreshadows obviously the uh, uh, the Gohan heal part of the deck. Okay, so uh, turn zeros there, and then we have our turn one Bora, uh, which I'm just going to probably put here on the side with Zunama. Turn two, we got Kami down. It's our only turn two card. Um, you will be able to find this guy hopefully. And uh, basically, he's got backup, so again, will be quite easy to get him back, even if you charge him from the top of your deck. And every time uh, when a Namekian Warrior Control comes into play, you get to put a card, uh, you basically have to draw a card and then put a card from your hand at the bottom of your planet. This gives you card selection. This allows you the ability to dig deeper in the deck and get the cards that you need. Uh, rather than maybe having multiples of cards or having too many uh, piccolos, for example, because you can only gonna be able to evolve into one of these guys. Don't forget, we run three of it. You're not gonna need that many. You might wanna put that at the bottom of your deck, or you may not. We're gonna get to uh, you, why you may not want to do that. Okay, so moving on to turn three, we run two Motaitos again, mostly because I needed the Earth uh, Chi cost. Uh, of course, we can put a growth co uh, growth coin on him with Bora, but also very importantly, solid stats three three two two, uh, and he also has the valid ability when this warrior is moved to your chi area due to showdown damage, give one damage to target warrior and opponent controls with a turn cost of three or less. So very similar lines to a Bora if he is moved to the chi, but it needs to be because of showdown damage. You can injure one of your opponent's warriors with. Uh, Turn cost of three. And yes, he does cost one uh, Earth Chi, but you're not going to be playing him all the time. Uh, he's still a solid three drop, though. Uh, I, I wish that we would have a little bit more space for maybe an additional three drop, but currently I couldn't really think of anything. I might have to drop one of these guys, but you may understand in a little while why I, why I want to run three of him. Okay, moving on to our big turn, which is turn four. So turn four, uh, a little bit controversially, but we are running the uh, three promo Gohans. And the reason why we run the three promo Gohans is because he has evolution five, great Saiyaman. And he again has very solid stats. He's a really good support warrior as a three, three in case he gets injured. Well, he's then a six, zero as all the Gohan cards. He's stronger if he's injured, obviously staying very faithful to the anime. Um, but he allows us, uh, in similar lines to Piccolo Jr., uh, we get to um, evolve on turn 5 into Great Saiyaman. And I've chosen uh, the uh, the better Saiyaman, in my opinion. I, I was really contemplating to run the other one, the Super Air, uh, f to go against some cheeky um, mill decks, you know, when you're utilizing Fierce. But this guy's just so good. I had to stick with him. He's got super heal toughness. He also has a 60% chance to get Thrash 1 and plus 1 plus 0. So he becomes very, very strong. Good supporter, good main attacker as uh, in, in healthy position and a really, really good attacker in injured position. His ability is valid, so he's particularly good when he's injured. He gets 8-0, super heal toughness, Thrash 1. They're all valid abilities, so really, really cool. And of course, again, we get to do this for free in turn five. It doesn't cost us anything because, as you can see, as you can see, the there is a zero chi cost here for that evolution on Gohan. So realistically, turn four you want to uh, drop Gohan, or you also want to evolve into Piccolo Junior, and all of a sudden, just these two guys give you ten power. Now, what you also may want to do is move a uh, Dragon Ball coin onto him. Uh, we might be able to. Um, 
acquire one or two damage during the game. Particularly, we kind of have a, a weak uh, turn. Um, turn one, turn three can be a little bit weak, but when you get to turn four, this deck explodes. And then turn five, as I said, you then evolve into your Great Saiyaman, but you also are going to play our final big attacker, which are the Lord Slugs that we have. And Lord Slug, guys, again, just one of my favorite cards. It's just super good. Turn five, one chi, plunder, and whenever he uses a unique technique, he gets plus one, plus zero. So he comes in as a six, three, but let's say he uses a, an evil cannon. He's now getting plus four, plus so of that evil cannon, not plus three, plus so, which is just stupid. And he has plunder. So we can also get this guy down and prevent our opponent from maybe getting a wish. And turn five is um, turn five is usually not the end of the game. I would say normally you get to turn six, maybe turn seven, where you where you really turn six, you're definitely in late game. I'd say turn five is is uh, is the end of the the, the middle game, uh, the mid range. Okay, so these are our warriors, and as you can see, we have a very very crowded selection here. But we just need so much space for our evolved targets that um, we kind of have to just um, suck it up, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to leave these guys down because uh, as I show you the events and the techniques, they'll be important. Now, another cornerstone for this deck is obviously 3 Namekian Fusion. Just the fact that on turn 2 we can search our deck for a Namekian when we drop this card. And if you don't have Kami, but you have Namekian Fusion, you obviously go for Kami. If you have Kami, but you need a Piccolo Junior, you go for Piccolo Junior. Even if it's turn 3, turn 4, you want to make sure that you are evolving into this guy on turn 4. So that's where Namekian Fusion will be very critical. And you might need a Lord Slug, so you may actually go for a Lord Slug. We basically have Lord Slug as a target, Piccolo Junior, Kami, and Piccolo. So we got four different targets for this one card. And then we got the second ability where we can discard a Namekian Warrior from our hand and put F X growth coins on target Namekian Warrior without any growth coins where X is the turn cost of the discarded card. Now imagine if you have a Lord Slug down and you discard a Piccolo from your hand. That, my friend, is 6 growth coins. So your Lord Slug is a 12-9. Then he shoots an Evil Cannon, gets another 4. That's a 16. That's a 16. And if you got a great Saiyaman behind him, uh, that is a 20. And if you have a Mutaito behind him, that's 23 team attack, ladies and gentlemen. 23 team attack. You cannot beat that. You cannot beat that. So, um, really just get a lot of cards out for free through utilizing evolution. We got Piccolo Juniors, we obviously got the little Gohans down there. Uh, slam down your Lord Slug on turn 5 and just, just go at it. Again, I'm going to take you back to the arm stretch cards. Super good with this Lord Slug. Just absolutely brilliant. Uh, you're going to be pumping Lord Slug, countering your opponent's uh, pumps, obviously. You always want to play this card after your opponent pumps uh, their their cards or, or tries to... It even negates Warrior's effect text and special abilities. So it's everything's gone. It completely wipes clear that card. For uh, for this great Saiyan, for example, no super heal, no toughness, no none of the plus one plus zero if he's battling against villain, uh, alien, or unique. None of that. It's all gone. This arm stretch, one of the best techniques for sure in the game. I was hesitating with this one, but I thought it can't hurt to have this guy though. One expanding vibration, obviously the best counter in the game. Um, three cost, uh, you can play from turn two onwards. Yes, if you look at the rest of the deck, we will be fairly uh, chi light, so we can afford to play a card that costs us three. Uh, in reality, a three cost card is, is costing you two chi because you're always going to replace one with the card you just played. So this is, in effect, costing us two chi. And obviously, we have to run Evil Cannon. Uh, it just has to be there. Again, probably the best, well, the second best after um, um, Powerful Heritage, the second best pump in the game, plus 3 plus so it's plus 4 plus so for Lord Slug, um, but Kami, Piccolo, Gohan, Bora, they all get plus 3 plus so if they use it, so excellent card. 
And now we get to the final point, which is the Gohan Hill bit. Obviously, our great Saiyaman has Super Heal, and we really want to utilize that. We have Bora, obviously, to put a growth coin on one of our uh, Earth Warriors. That ideally, you want to be great Saiyaman to give him that growth coin. But we also have three copies of Regeneration of Lost Limbs. And this card, again, does basically triple duty for us. Duty number one, you can heal any of your guys from turn three onwards for all a measly cost of two chi. That is a better card already than a Senzu Bean, because the Senzu Bean you can use from turn four onwards. And then on top of that, uh, we get the Expert Namekian skill, which allows us to draw two cards. Draw two cards. Draw two cards. Guys, the, the only other card that just straight up says that is obviously Hoi Poi Capsule. For that you need the Dragon Ball, that is a 2 specific Earth cost card, and I believe has a uh, turn cost of 4. So, if you heal one of your Piccolo, your Kami, Piccolo Jr. or Lord Slug, they don't even have to be injured. You can still just play them for the draw 2 ability if you really struggle. But imagine you got your great Saiyaman at the back, gets injured, and then you run out this uh, regeneration of lost limbs. Give him a growth coin, he becomes a 6-5. Okay, you don't get to draw a card, but he gets the uh, he gets the super heal effect. So um, that's the double duty. And then the third duty is, of course, if you use this with your Lord Slug, not only do you get to heal him if you need to, which for him the uh, injury status is pretty crap, 2-1 to his 6-3. Uh, you also get to draw two cards, and he gets plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. So it's just really, really good. And then finally, the Cram de la Cram is our two special beam cannons. And again, if you remember that I said that you definitely want to get Piccolo out on turn four, this is the reason. Because then when you go into turn five, you play your Lord Slug, you make sure you got your uh, Great Saiyaman, you make sure you got your Piccolo, and they want to be one team, and then you want Lord Slug to attack on a different angle, maybe you discard another Piccolo to him, so he can be on his own as a uh, 12 uh, attack power, and on this side you will get Piccolo attacking, Piccolo will use a special beam cannon on turn 5, you will injure Great Saiyaman, uh, you basically get to give out a damage to one of your opponent's warriors with equal or less deterrent cost than the user, so that's six or less. So the only thing that Piccolo uh, can't hit is basically, uh, I believe, Super 17 and uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku and uh, Gogeta and Vegito. That's pretty much it. Everybody else, Piccolo can deal one damage with Special Beam Cannon to that guy. And as well, if you have a look, the Expert ability at the bottom, you may hear a Warrior to the in the user's team. So you want to make sure you use this with Piccolo because... You've injured your great Saiyaman, then you will heal him, and he gets a growth coin. So now he's a 6-5. So not only have you dealt a damage to one of your opponent's cards, you also managed to give a growth, growth coin to great Saiyaman. Um, and he may already have a growth coin of uh, uh, Bora, for example. So then we have a 7-6. 6, six uh, plus 7, obviously, the lead for Piccolo is a 13 um, we've just damaged our opponent, which may have been a significant reduction in his team value. Um, and uh, we also have maybe Thrash 1, if we are fighting against the team. Plus, we can then discard a card from our opponent's hand. So, we attack from multiple angles, uh, and we get out a lot of powerful cards very early, uh, because we can use the Evolution for Piccolo Jr. and the Promo Gohan. We can search for Namekians with Namekian fusion. We can buff them crazily. We can carry on countering whatever our opponent does. We can carry on healing our own guys. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Guys, if you can give this a go, and let me know what you think. Let me know what you may want to change. Let you know if you would run this deck. Uh, let's discuss it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and of course, share the video. But for now, Bussain, signing.